welcome to the Yet Podcast. Woo! Yeah. Oh my god. We are not your usual hosts. Yes, you might notice something different. I'm Sam, also known as Soggy Kebab. I'm Danya, also known as Crazy D. And we are out here uh, just bringing you your daily yap. Um, yep, Joni yep, yep, and Stan yep. are currently filming something. Something that you'll see on our socials at some point. Um, mm. I can't reveal anything more because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no one tells me what goes on in this office. How's your week been, Crazy D? It's Friday. Very good. Very busy. Yeah, I feel like we ramped up this week. Yeah, I'm tired. I've had so many filmings. What about you? I have also... I haven't had that many filmings. I've had quite a few meetings and a lot of planning and, like, re-strategizing, like, the the campaign part of the campaigns. Like the big brains working. Big brains... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> uh, yeah, big brains working. It's been... I like... Yeah. I've got a lot to do on Monday next week. And I don't like that. It's okay. It's future Sam's problem. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be. And then tap, present tapping Sam on. is vibing because it's Friday. Present yeah. Sam is about to do some fucking shit in my fucking laptop. <laughs> it's going to be another one of those days. Any late nights for you, Danya? No. No, because I don't want to do that. Boundaries. We love that. Mm, yeah. Um, you took Tyler to dinner last night. I did. Tell we me were, about it. It was just. I thought, you know what, my boyfriend's doing something else. Her boyfriend's doing something else. Do you want to, you know, do you want to hang out, drink? It it was her Friday yesterday because she has a day off today. So I was like, let's go get a drink. I'm going to cook you some dinner. This is the second time I've cooked for her. And it was a fab time. Yeah, it's nice to show um, show some love back to the video team because they do hustle for us account managers like Ugh. immensely. I mean, we work hard, but they uh, usually bring the brunt of all of our ideas. Yeah. Thank you, Tyler. I love you. Yeah. We're like, by the way, we're doing this and this and this for the client. And they're like, that seems like a lot. And you're like, yeah, get on with it. <laughs> I don't care. You're crying and you're panicking. <laughs> Move on. Okay. Danya has made a few people cry in the office. We have deadlines. We have deadlines. And you know we're what happens if you don't. We're getting paid to meet these deadlines. And if you don't meet a deadline, a client leaves or you die. One of the two. Yeah. There you go. You don't have food. Who's going to pay for your vapes? Who's going to pay for your vapes? Who's going to pay for your food? Who's going to put food on the table? Who's going to bring home the bacon? There you go. Because I bring home my bacon every I single day. I love bacon. Yum, yum, yum. And my tum, tum, tum. So, yeah, shout out to the videographers. We love you. Um, thank you for the mahi. Thank you for the mahi. Also, huge drama in the office this morning. Two cups, two mugs left next to the orange. <gasps> Yeah. So, and guess when they were put there? Morning briefing yesterday. Who is the culprit? Sophie and Connor. Because <gasps> they were sitting there watching the, the football lovers. yesterday morning. And they um, they didn't realise that they left their coffee cups there. And I saw them, Stan put them in the group chat yesterday. And I was like, oh, I know who that is, but I can't say because I'm not a snitch. But, naughty, um, naughty. Now I'm snitching to the Yap podcast. It's okay because she she outed herself? Yeah, and Connor did not. Of course he wouldn't. He never does. But he is out on a shoot since 4.30 this morning. And he has no Crazy. choice now. It was Connor. It was Connor <laughs> Ransley. Videographer, lead, team, creative, director. All his fault. All his faults. Messy, messy boy. So should we get into this um, TikTok bam? Yeah. It's quite funny because this is kind of like a serious topic that like surely people would want to hear from Joni and Stan about and instead they've got <laughs> us. Like they're like the TikTok experts that like created a business around TikTok and we just like showed up and started doing it. And you got us. You're welcome, guys. Yeah. So um, the US government tries, is trying to ban TikTok in their country because they are worried about the Asian-owned ByteDance stealing user data from American citizens. Because, and let me get on my political high horse, America loves to blame China for all their problems, despite being them being their biggest trade partner and all that stuff. NSA. Who? The NSA. What's that? No shrink attached. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's crazy because they're trying to ban it. And obviously TikTok is a huge platform. We have jobs because of TikTok and yeah. Journey Emily being on TikTok, which is a crazy thing to think about. And I try not to think about that too much because she kind of holds my future in her hands. Um, no pressure, future. Journey. But <laughs> they're trying to ban TikTok and ByteDance, which owns TikTok, is uh, suing them back for breach of the First Amendment rights. 
in I America. I love America. I love how fucking... Oh, this is the worst. This is such an American bashing podcast. Like, Stan gets on here and bashes Americans. I'm going to bash some Americans. Like, this is crazy. I... I just love how they protect their First Amendment so much. You know, we don't have... No, they don't. No, America's not. This is the thing. Is bite dance is the well, one enforcing no, it. But just in general, though, even re- regardless of the suing, they just love the First Amendment. Well, they love it. They love it as soon as you bring up an amendment to them. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> I can do whatever I want. And you're like, but what about this amendment? And they go... <gasps> yeah. Like, they all bring up an amendment at the drop of a hat. I love it. It's China's so just like, entertaining. China's like, didn't you guys pass a law ages ago saying that you could have freedom of expression and now you're pulling out no more freedom of expression? Yeah. Let the kids dance on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and like, do I think TikTok as a platform needs some rules and regulations? Yes, every oh, yeah. platform does. Do I think the algorithm that they use sometimes leads to people like getting radicalized or being shown things on the internet they shouldn't be shown? For sure. But... I also believe that about like most parts of the internet, like needs Instagram, further regulation. Twitter. Twitter. Oh my god. Tumblr. Tumblr. I Tumblr was crazy. Tumblr. Did you have Tumblr back in the day? Yeah. Oh my god. What was your? What did you reblog? What were you reblogging? Um, indie aesthetic shit. Oh my god. I, don't know my indie phase. I reckon I was doing the same. I think it was the birth of my love for black, like color. Tumblr was the birth of my um socialism. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like I, 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 I reblogged a lot of quotes. I wasn't oh a feminist God, yes. until I got on Tumblr. I, oh, nice. I know, which is, it makes it seem like I got on a bit too late, but that's okay. No, it's fine. I just don't know what feminism, feminism, feminism was, really. It's okay. I think that was like, what, the early 2010s? Yeah, I would have been like uh, 13, 14, 15. So like, 2010s was also the year, well, the season, years, multiple years, where we what, were starting to get woke starting to like understand cultural appropriation black lives matter black lives matter the n-word like, yeah you know thank god for tumblr if i didn't have tumblr i probably would be one of those guys that like says the bad N-word. stuff <laughs> yeah probably honestly i still have people in my life that i know that still say it like a drop of a hat mm-hmm. and i'm like you're white don't do that yeah. Wow, oh, this wow. got off topic. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, Abdel. I'm so sorry. Sorry, producer Abdel. But I mean, I think the interesting thing is that before this whole thing, not a single social media app was ever like, sued sued to be banned or like attempted to be banned. Really? Yeah. Was not was Facebook not? No. What, like completely banned was... from the whole country of the uh, United States. Wow. Because I swear, um, are you sure? Zucky was in like. That's what Multiple. Sophie said. I'm just going off Sophie's word. <laughs> Didn't they? No, nah, because they've banned. Let's fact check, right? No, nah, because they've banned like 4chan and stuff in America, right? Because then it had to become like 8chan and stuff. I feel like there's other social media that have been banned. Mm. Let me Google this. What else? Was you vamp while well, I Google. Okay, well, anyways, I find that, I find it wild that you can sue the government. Well, we sued our government or someone did. You can sue any government. Sewing is such an American thing. I love it. Yeah, because we don't do that I here in New Zealand. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy to sue people there. I googled it and nothing came up apart from TikTok. So I'm going to cool. say that Sophie was right. Yeah. Damn. Um, I also think like it is really odd that now in society, like the ways in which we communicate to a wide range of people and like foster connections and learn things is like through apps that are algorithmically designed to like feed us more stuff which just like mm. obviously it's like echo chamber effects and stuff and obviously there is a duty of care from the government to protect people from getting radicalized but with the way they treated twitter and x for like so many years like allowing a lot of people to say a lot of flagrantly like anti-semitic and like yeah. homophobic and transphobic stuff on x and now elon musk has bought all of that back after buying it like I feel like there's bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Like there's there's more other things to do. Like what did you, what do we like what are you seeing on TikTok right now right now? Like literally it's just on my feed it's just people dancing to Chapel Rowan. Yeah. Like Or the Met Gala. Or the Met Gala. Wow, oh, yeah, okay. Kendrick and Drake beef. Can That's you, all I keep seeing. Yeah, I didn't follow up on that and I don't want to know more about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all like, I see. Let me tell Bro, that is I all fucking I see on my TikTok. Hate so Drake. I'm like like I don't know anything about Drake's beef. I've seen Drake's Willie, yep. um, and I know that he like was friends with Millie Bobby Brown in an inappropriate way. 
Um, but I just think he's so lame. Like he's such a fucking cuck. Fuck you, Drake. He was on too grassy. Yeah, he was. He doesn't do it for me. No, he no. But you know, my hotline does bling. Do do. You're too sexy for this shirt. <laughs> Did he write that song? Nah. Nah, that's like a European song. Well, yeah, he sampled it. Ah, uh, steal it. Yeah. Stole it. Sample. It's Stole an art it. form. I'm an Kanye art form. did that. But I think with the whole thing of uh, like bigger fish to fry is that like, I think it's two things. I think one is demographic and the other is like pure numbers. Like the numbers on TikTok, I'm assuming is a lot more than X. And the well, active users especially. Yeah. yeah. And plus like a person on TikTok is going to be like five to ten years younger. I'm pulling this out of my ass, but yeah. I'm you are pulling this out of your ass. The person on TikTok is a lot more younger than the average person on X. Oh, definitely. I reckon. I mean, average person, sure, average. but like you can. This is the thing: is like what they're trying to stop isn't to do with the people of America. It's to stop yeah. data being stolen, right? Once they wanna, again, and crazy because swear to God, they listen to their phones there. Yeah, well, because they want to take all the data from the American people that they can. And TikTok offered to move all of the data centers onshore into American soil so they could manage all U.S. citizens' yeah. data. And they were like, no, we just don't want you to have any influence on our country at all. And it's like, so you pick and choose when you want to engage with Asian countries and when you don't. And it's just, it's blatantly like fear mongering. It's the, it's the nonsense that America's been doing for years where like Asian countries are the enemy, the, the Eastern Orient is the enemy. Yeah. And it's like, guys, we're a global fucking cunt, like global Society. place like just get amongst it and shut up and stop banning drag queens as well stop banning things start letting things be legal yeah. like i don't know it's just bigger fish to fry like america's like got one of the highest rates of poverty surely put some money towards that rather than banning tiktok and also they keep trying to ban things that i love tiktok drag queens Drag queens? Books, gay books. They don't like those either. It's like, stop banning those things. Those are, that's what I get up to. Drag queens? Yeah, they've made it illegal to be dra- to do drag in some states in America. Yeah. You, you get- guys are annoying. Yeah. And you know who I blame? There's so many. One of them. From. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a name to pull like- up. Also, oh. did you see the? This is another American tangent. Did you see that? Because Trump's on trial, right? For like whatever, the, <laughs> whatever the fuck he was Trumpy. doing. Um, and Stormy Daniels, the porn star and uh, escort that he hired and testified against him, she had to go into court yesterday to testify again, and she had to list everything they did together. Like, oh, that's not something. Positions, to hear. like what he said during the acts. Like, it was gross. At one point, Trump said to her. You remind me of my daughter. Yuck. I know. Ugh. That country is absolutely jeffed. And I'll say, Charlotte, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> Your country's fucked. I saw we have more than one American. Nah, Shai's Canadian. She, oh. She'd agree. Oh, Devin. Devin, your country's fucked. Damn. Copywriters. Fucked. <laughs> Fuck. Um, shall we move on to uh, the next segment, which was Stanley Cups? Yeah. Oh my god! All right, I'm you buy one. you break this one down for us, Danya. Um, cool. Well, Stanley Cups, what they 10x essentially their sales. They went from this old. <laughs> please don't make fun of me. I don't know how old. I forgot it now. Like hundreds of years. Yeah, like hundred year old, old brand. Um, brand that was what for carpenters, tradies. Yeah, it was like the industrial water bottle yeah. you bring onto a trade site. And now this guy comes in. And just changes it up. Our boy Terrence Riley. Fuck yeah. He Whoa, seems so swear? cool. I've been swearing. Okay, cool. Never mind. Yeah. Terrence Riley seems so cool. He, uh, apparently, per the newsletter, he was the reason why Crocs is the shit. Yeah, he was and at Crocs, Crocs for seven Crocs. years before Stanley, which is like right around the time that it blew up. Yeah. And now he did the same thing with, oh, Jesus Because Crocs. Crocs were originally like shiffy footwear and then he made them cool. And now, and it's then a Stanley's staple. were workwear, work, yeah. work accessories, and now he made them cool as well. It's like, what's he going to touch next? Like, what know. is the next thing that he's going to make? Like the peak of, you know, consumerist fashion. Because Crocs are still going strong. I don't know. Like they'll be Crocs will be 
a staple of every person's wardrobe for at least another five years. Not mine, because they're ugly as fuck, but someone's. I love Crocs. I know, but, but you do love consuming. Like you just said you want to buy a Stanley Cup. Yes, I do. And I can't imagine anything worse than owning a Stanley Cup. I would love to buy a Stanley Cup, but only like leave it here in the office. I just don't like drink but bottles at, with straws. But at the Controversial. I don't like it. Because they get yucky. That's the best part about the water bottles. No, no, no. Because the then you're part, lazy and you just go. No, the best part about water is chugging it down. Yeah, but then it gets all over your face and look not if you're not, a, <laughs> not if you're not a loser. Well, you said chugging it down. Uh, yeah, I like to chug. All right. <laughs> I love to chug. Um, it's crazy because they're not cheap either. They're like at least $80. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty standard. And people are fist fighting over them. $80 for a water bottle is not standard. That's okay, not I'm sorry. I bought a, what's it called? Um, What's the other one? Brain cream? No, the other one? Hydro flask? Yeah, I have a hydro flask. Yeah, well, that's quite funny because hydro flask was the big thing before Stanley, eh? Yes, it was. It was the, what were they called? The um, Hydro the flask girls? <laughs> Girls, yeah. what were they called? I'm Fisco girls. Fisco girls, yes. And they'll go. Tss, 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 tss. <laughs> yeah, do you Please remember that? Don't do that. Do you remember that? And they wore like yeah, they wore the scrunchies it. around the thing. Like, tss, yeah. tss, 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 that was tss. a wild time on TikTok. That was a wild time on TikTok. That's where it was. By dance owned, Asian owned TikTok America. Um, and so now, good for our culture. I just love that. <laughs> I, I mean, he's a brilliant man for like this whole idea of just like reinvigorating brand. Because the whole thing, the whole thing behind Stanley is they're unbreakable, right? Yeah. And like that's why they were workwear. And like you've seen those videos where like someone's car's like burnt down, yes. and the only thing that survives is a Stanley Cup. Like that, and that's not that wasn't marketing. That was just like stuff, like real life stuff they turned into marketing. Yeah. But managing to take this unbreakable water bottle, which was obviously designed for these like potentially dangerous trade site situations, whatever, yeah. and be like, no, girl, your life is just as dangerous. You need the Stanley Cup. And now they're like, people are fist fighting in the streets over Stanley Cups. They're collecting them. They're collecting them. And, and to tie it to the trend of water talk, which is a cra- was a crazy trend anyway, like people just like flavoring their water, like and tying Stanley Cups so intrinsically to that trend and using like UGC creators and influencers to market their product through yeah. like organic socials it's so smart they're very clever i want to know what the mar- what the budget of i want to know how much they spent each year on sending free stanley cups to people because it seems like there's a lot oh yeah like you know chrissy teigen got a stanley cup in the mail like she's the per- like she's one of the perfect people I love chrissy. and you know the d'amelios were getting stanley cups sent to them on fucking mass yeah oh d'amelios but it's also like they could be could they not be just get popular on their own and then the influencers themselves will feel like excluded and be like, ah. Oh. Nothing gets popular on its own anymore. You've got to influence. Yeah. yeah. It's like, um, what are those fucking things called? The waist trainers that went fucking hugely viral a few years ago because Kim K wore one. It was ages ago. Yeah, but I'm just thinking of like, you yeah. know, because that, that was a huge modern influencer trend here in New Zealand because I remember one of the boss babes was the one that bought Waste Trainers to New Zealand and she got super famous from it. And she built her whole empire just like drop shipping Waste Trainers. Wild. Yeah. We should do that. Not Waste Trainers. We need to find a th- we need to find the thing because that's the thing is every person that gets successful usually has just found a product from overseas. I'm talking about New Zealand. Has just found a product from overseas and managed to get in front of the trend. So like um, my friend was, um, this is a weird story. My <laughs> friend um, in Australia, he bought a bunch of um, pussy shavers, like those automatic um, electrical, like they kind of ro- like rotate and they yank out your... your oh, epilators. Epilators, yeah. P- epilators for pussies. And he um, paid a bunch of ads on Instagram and sold a bunch. Drop shipped them from China. 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 We have the biggest guns, the biggest China. Um, that was my Donald Trump. Uh, but yeah, so like we just need to find the next thing. What should it be? Well, we don't know. That's the thing is we've got to like listen to the market. I think you need to like, I think we need to take a, like a little buying trip to China, see what's popular there. Because it's like if you got in front of K Beauty or if you got in front of, you know, it's just like what can you get in front of and then pay a bunch of Instagram ads, put up an Instagram page 
get a bunch of shit on Etsy, send them to a few creators. 30, 30k. Bada bim bada boom. Because especially if you're buying shit off like AliExpress, you're getting it like mass produced, and it's like a dollar for each thing, and you're selling it for like fifteen dollars. That's um, profit. Crap, I don't want to. Actually, we should actually do that. Like we, like we could easily do that. Okay, that's what we're doing after this. Once we get back from Europe, which we just like start our empire. Okay, cool. Love that, Stan. You don't own this idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do some market research while I'm in the UK. Mm. Let's go, I guess. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I guess. Love that trend. That's the trend we're talking about. What's the segment called about trends? Trend plug. Tram plug. Tram plug. Tram plug. I want to press another one. No, no, no. Tram plug. No. <laughs> that was the wrong one. Tram plug. <laughs> this one goes for ages. Okay. Whoa. Um, we're talking yeah. about <laughs> Cody Co's trending audio. That is in today's newsletter. I know. That's oh, that's I okay, I that's it. exactly I know. why. My fault. My fault. Abdel, we did our research. I know how to do my fucking job, you Abdel. Got it, okay. You got, it, you got it. You got it. Abdel. We yes. did our due diligence. Can you not it. interrupt <laughs> me? You got it. Keep going. <laughs> we know you wrote it because I also read written by Abdel. The biggest right. loser in the room. Damn. All right. Fucking hell. Suddenly the SD card corrupts. <laughs> Bro. Has there ever been a fist fight on this fucking podcast? Because it's about to be. Jesus Christ. Abdel, Jesus. It's Friday. We should be zen. Yeah. If Abdel wasn't fucking me off. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So this fucking trend. Let's fucking go, I guess. I love it. I've it's, used it. You've used it? I used it on a TikTok that said um, when the guy you're dating says he usually dates train wrecks, so you're perfect or something like that. Like something about like <gasps> dating. Um, didn't go viral, but that's okay because I didn't really put much effort into it. Because that's what Maybe trends are for, now. right? Yeah, just like a kebab with two Bs or three Bs. Um, Can't remember. <laughs> no, it's got it's got a B and then a BB. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a great trend because Cody Ko's a legend, and it's really easy to adapt to like whatever you want to talk about. It's crazy though that it was, it was from a previous YouTube video that he did, and yeah. someone just took it out. Just threw it on TikTok and then Throw it on crazy. TikTok. This yeah. is what this is what I've been fucking saying yeah. to Ollie is like uh, there's so many videos I watch and I'm like, fuck, I need a this this should be a TikTok audio. Yeah. Because the one thing that we don't do here is we don't try and manufacture our own TikTok audios. We just use what's around. When in reality, like we all absorb so much content from so many different places. I honestly think they should just be like a we should just get like a little intern, like a little Abdel. Maybe Abdel gets an intern. Yep. And we just send them like get YouTube videos time. and get them to clip like just anything. Just good shit we find and use them in our, like, just use them as audios. Because if you are the first person to use an audio, that's cash money on TikTok. And they just use that one. Because the original sound account. is linked to you. Yeah. Plus, it's crazy because, like, it's from a video from Cody Ko from his second channel reacting to, like, a Mr. Beast video that's, like, an hour long. And that clip is, like, 20 just minutes in deep. in between, yeah. And it's like, who thought of that? Like, yeah, that's what Amazing. I'm saying. We need to think of that. Yeah, like I sent I sent Ollie a um, YouTube video at 4 a.m. the other weekend um, because I was like, we've got to use this for audio. <laughs> we've got to use this for TikTok. I was watching TV at 4 a.m. TV. Well, it was a YouTube video. Okay, cool. It was, I was from, like, excuse me. It was from Chucky. Jesus Christ. It was from Christ. Chucky, the TV show. Um, 21st century. It was really dumb. Um, but yeah, I love. I love TikTok. They're so fun. I think they're so fun. I think that's my favorite thing about TikTok. It's I just, reckon you can this go, office. You can, you can go on and just make anything. This office, there's full of TikTok audios from oh, the shit yeah. we say. Oh, yeah. Like, I reckon I, we should just mic up everything, even the toilets. Yeah. When I yelled at Alicia to eat ass. Ah, like perfect. that. Perfect audio. Clip For that. anyone who's interested. I reckon we should challenge the office today to all make a TikTok using a trending audio. I think that's a fun little challenge. Let's do it. What do you think, Abdel? Yeah. I want to get on TikTok. I want to start posting. You're not on TikTok? No. Like what the I hell? have a TikTok. I just have two videos since day one. How many, how many views? Uh, like 800 and 300. Oh God, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> For someone who just started? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm stuck in the low, you know, 
hundreds. Yeah, bro, I'm stuck in the low hundreds too. I'm only at like 1,300 followers and my goal is to get to 40K by July. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. I'm at 800 and Maybe I, I want at least a thousand boss. by the end of the year. Yeah, I was once I kept the thousand follower mark, it actually like keeps rising pretty consistently. But I've got quite a few videos out there that, that now have like over like 40k views, so I think they just keep getting served to people, which is nice. Oh, that's good. But um, I it's been a slog. Them. Like it's it's a slog. I'm posting like 10 to 15 times a week, and they're not very good. Damn. Yeah. I'm not saying damn at the fact that they're not good. I'm saying damn at the fact that it's 15 times a week. Yeah. Like I'm trying, you know, I want to. I love that. I want to get so big on TikTok that I don't have to work here anymore. <laughs> Guys, let's make it happen. <laughs> Imagine if I get on. Campaigning for Sam to go viral. Imagine if I get on Stan's planning and Stan has to interview me and he goes, so how'd you get famous? And I go, uh, I <laughs> worked at the attention seeker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you paid me to make TikToks during uh, in between meetings. One of them popped off. One of them I reckon. Off and now I'm sorry, not sorry. And now I have an OnlyFans. Flans? Yeah. You can't say OnlyFans on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Play <Bleep> it. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. Every time we swear or like every time we do something that I, Abdel can't put on TikTok, he's got to like edit more. Yeah. Let's not get any ideas. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> cut, 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 what do I want to know? What's on you guys in mind this weekend? What are you guys up to this weekend? Ooh, I'm uh, getting a tattoo tomorrow. That's so fun. I'm going to go film at one of our clients' restaurants tonight. <gasps> so I'm hoping I get some really good food Which out one, of it. Cole or Nice? Cole. Because <laughs> Cole's nearby. So. Nice. Um, and it's a little bit more chill because we can film the pass really easy because it's an open kitchen. Um, and then tomorrow I've got a party. And I, it's, uh, well, it's good, but I am trying to save money. So... Not so good. What about you, Daniel? Well, tattoo tomorrow, and then I'm spending Mother's Day early with my family because my sisters are working on Sunday. Mm, mm -hmm. And then I'm meeting up with, potentially meeting up with someone who was like, hey, Danya, can I get career advice? Whoa. No one asked yeah. me for career advice. It's mental over here. No one ever asked me for career advice. If anyone advice. wants career advice, hit me up. Nah, JK, so people hit me up on LinkedIn all the time. <laughs> and I just say, like, I ignore the messages because... I don't give that up for free. Yeah, I had to turn red receipts off yesterday because I got a message. I was like, hey, I noticed we're in the same industry. How's it going? I was like, okay. Turn off red you said it's going poorly. We're in a recession. <laughs> Fuck off out my inbox. You red receipts. <laughs> on LinkedIn. You freaked out and didn't want to answer someone's question. No, nah, because you got to remember, Abdel's pretty famous on LinkedIn now. He's been posting like pretty much oh, nonstop. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got a celebrity in our midst. Yeah. yeah. Abdel's going to become the bad boy of the attention seeker. Yeah, a brooding little bad boy. Because he doesn't talk to anyone. Oh, he's so bad. He doesn't yeah. talk to anyone. Yeah. Well, he's always focused on his work, like a little nerd. I just, I don't know. I want to get at, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Abdel. We're not actually, we're not actually roasting you. We think you're great. No, you're um, so that's been, yeah. That's it? No, it hasn't. We have two more minutes. <gasps> oh, Never well, mind. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, two more minutes. Sorry, what are we sorry, doing? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, one more minute, sorry. I wrote a really fun LinkedIn post yesterday. Same. Mine's about the project that I just launched. Yeah, I love that. I love that Pizza Hut project. Check out Danya on Pizza Hut's Deep Dish Breakfast Show. Ooh, Epis ooh, episodes ooh, ooh. going live. Today. And nice. every day? Every day. Nice. We drop a short every day. That's so fun. Um, and I wrote a LinkedIn post about my mom and how she taught me the phrase, sorry, I wasn't done speaking yet. You don't understand how many how many times I've heard that yeah. phrase. Oftentimes people try to interrupt me in meetings and I have to say to them, sorry. I wasn't done speaking yet. And to be fair, I'm not sorry. Because um, don't interrupt me. I have a, If I haven't finished my sentence, you haven't been given the chance to start speaking. And it's all about like not letting people minimize your impact and like holding space for yourself because we all have valuable things to say. And, you know, if I can teach people to use that phrase, especially like women in like male-dominated industries, like I think we'll be better for it. Yeah. Take turns and listen. And that's been Yap. Love you guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>